This continent was meant for no one. None of us will have any peace. Until there are no monsters left in the world. Everybody know. That's my home. My fight. It's well known that you're kind of a big fan of the Witcher franchise. Yeah. So I wanted to know, was there an aspect of the wider Witcher world that you're really, you were really excited to see brought to life um, in season two? Um, well, I mean, as, as, as you'll probably hear that I've said quite often, uh, for me it was bringing Geralt's intellect and wisdom and his soulfulness to the front, his philosophical lean. Uh, in season one it's not really explored, but it's very, very present in the books. And so for me it was really important that uh, I did that as much as possible, as much as the uh, vision would allow. Um, and then also, I've just got to ask one more thing, yeah. which was uh, the kind of Geralt love triangle is a big thing that fans care deeply about. I wonder whether you would weigh in on whether it's uh, Triss or Yennefer as a... For me, when I played the games, and especially when I read the books, it's always been, I feel true to Geralt's core, that it's Team Yennefer. Um, of course, the great thing about the games is that you can do whatever you want, <laughs> and uh, that's the great thing about games. But for me, it was uh, even in the games, Team Yennefer. So, when we spoke to Lauren earlier, she said that um, season two was so much about family and kind of like finding people, and I think obviously that's going to be a big part of what we see series doing season two. So, yeah, I was wondering how. This How has that been to play and what's it like kind of playing this new era of series, series life? Oh, it's amazing. Like, I feel like season one didn't really do series justice in terms of like what fans are waiting for. And I feel like uh, season two is far more of that. You get to see her really like um, come into herself and, well, f trying to come into herself anyway and um, train. And yeah, it was, it was amazing. I was so excited to take all that physical physical element on it as well. Well, yeah, speaking of that physical element, obviously, like you said, season one sees series kind of, we follow her, she kind of escapes and running around so much but it's a lot of kind of motion all the time was it very different coming into the season doing lots of training lots of kind of sword fighting yeah kind of yeah yeah it was um it was like i i i'm like siri i'm obsessed with it and i want to be better at it and i want to like do more all the time so it was like so much fun and i've waited like a whole season to be able to do this so yeah it, we me and siri have that similarity i love it how are you doing? Cold. It's so cold. I'll make it quick. <laughs> yeah, no, well um, done for standing out here. So, uh, season two, bigger, better, crazier. Um, can you tell us a little bit about how Yennefer's journey in season two compares to kind of where we saw her in the first season? Oh, um, compares. Uh, she's the same Yennefer. Um, she's, she doesn't take no for an answer. Where there's a will, there's a way. That will never change. But there are a lot of things this season, a lot of people this season, which really change your perspective on things. So, um, you get to the you, you get deeper into Yennefer. Yeah. Well, yeah, Lauren mentioned that um, this, se this season especially, so it's about family. Um, was that something that you felt coming in that you was that Yennefer kind of getting to explore, or was she yes. still kind of solo? Always. Always. No, I mean, even when she's solo, that, that's on her mind, is that deep connection that she's kind of yearning for. Yeah. Um, and then finally, um, Joey mentioned to us that a joy for him in season two was that you guys got to have more scenes together. Was that fun? Did you enjoy kind of working? I love Joey. He's, yeah. he's like... Oh, I've loved him since day one. He is Yaskia. He <laughs> brings joy to The Witcher, which is so needed. Yeah. So I've loved it. Um, how would you compare kind of the second season coming into season two of Witcher? Like broadly, how, you, how would you compare it to the first? Uh, going in was was filming it was more hectic and more chaotic. The actual season is more streamlined. Uh, it's uh, got some bitterness to it. It's got some grittiness to it. It's darker. It's stranger. And we've got more time to explore these characters. So if season one was a bit wham bam, thank you ma'am, a bit entertaining and a bit sort of show stoppy, season two feels like we're we're, we're starting to, to move in the right direction. Cool. Speaking of the characters, can you give us like a bit of a sense of where we find Yaskia now versus kind of where we left him at the end of season one? We find Yaskia, uh, well he's an, an independent man, he's kind of moving forward in, on his own two feet. He's no longer defined by his friendship with Geralt, he's, he's uh, enjoying life but also making some big moral decisions, decisions that may, may put himself in danger, real danger for the first time in his life. And, uh, and he's willing to risk it all to actually do something good. Um, and do you have a favourite kind of scene or episode that you're really excited for fans to, to come across? I can't wait for you guys to meet the witches. Mm -hmm. I think uh, Paul and Yaz and, and Kim and all the new witches are, are just uh, are just astonishing. Yeah. And I, I love watching watching them work and, and the family that they're creating together. Yeah, I think I think they're gonna I think the fans are gonna really like it. And Kim Warren is such a like a big part of what kind of draws people in. Absolutely, yeah. And the uh, and the actual set as well, designed by Andrew Laws, is just uh, astonishing. Wandering around it, you do feel like you're 
you know, wandering around the sacred halls of Kaimorin, and and it's pretty, uh, it's pretty scary. It's pretty like epic, and you feel like you are in a position of, of power, a place of power. So. Um, I've got to ask you. So you, Jasper, is basically the closest thing Geralt has to a best friend. The big thing with Geralt, or some people think, closest thing, with Geralt, thing, he is his best friend, um, is you know love triangles. So I want to know who you think. Uh, Garrett should end up with. We're looking at Trace, we're looking at Yennefer. Oh, Yennefer. Yennefer, all oh, the way. Oh, I'm Team Yennefer all the way. 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was wondering whether, speaking of other actors and speaking of Yennefer, were there any kind of people you got to work with in season two that you kind of didn't have the opportunity to in the first season that really like? Really yeah, and you and I have quite a few more scenes together, which was really fun because uh, you know Yaskier and Yennefer are frenemies, yeah. <laughs> and uh, and they get to we get to ex we got to explore the, the their friendship together and their growing relationship together, and 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 uh, we see two characters at their weakest, at their lowest, coming together to help each other, and that's really um that was really exciting to explore. Um, and finally, uh, can we expect another kind of like Jaskia hit single in the, in the form of Toshua Coin? Is uh, there a Toshua Coin part two? Uh, I, definitely not. No, no, no. There are more songs coming and they are very, uh, but they are a departure from, from season one. We wanted to explore a new uh, uh, sort of musical direction, one that pushed Jaskia, one that was uh, representative of Jaskia's emotional core. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited for fans to see it. It's not going to be anyone's ringtone anytime soon, I can tell you that. Amazing. Um, I wanted to know, well, what I wanted to know is firstly... <laughs> what do you want to know? Why <laughs> for people who don't know anything about Vesemir, ah. how, and their only experience with Witters is with Geralt, how would you compare the two? No, I, I, it's nothing to compare with Geralt. He is Geralt, and he never does what you say, uh, uh, even if as a father to Geralt. <laughs> Kids never do what you say, man. He's so fucking mean in the ass, you know. He's a badass, you know. I love him. Uh, I'm the creator of, of Gerald. I, I I saw him outside of Kermore in our home, and his mother brought it to me and said, this could be a possibility to be a good witcher. And she wasn't r wrong. <laughs> Gerald is our hope in life. Geralt is, uh, even if I am the oldest witcher, uh, Geralt is our hope. And um, I, 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 I want to support him in that all the time, you know, yeah. so, so that's Wissimir. Yeah. Um, and then also, um, I want to say from your point of view, was it intimidating starting this project? It's like it's fantasy, it's all these names, it's elves. It's, was that kind of a lot to take in, a lot to learn to, just before you started? I think we all train now <laughs> in, in, in uh, big worlds and names and, and fantasy is not a big thing anymore. It's just the biggest. Mm -hmm. And we know that and they are allowed to show our world now. I'm so happy for their doing it. We have been fighting for this all life that we believe that there is something between Earth and nothing. Yeah. It is eternity, you know. So, so this is great for us that we can tell these stories, you know. Yeah. I appreciate it. Nature is strong. Nature is us. We have to understand that. And, and that's what uh, Henry is fighting for when he brought this project to, to Netflix. And I'm supporting him 100% that we are nature. Mm -hmm.